What up YouTube, it is your boy All About The Sneakers back with another unboxing and review video for you guys. Now today, as you can tell from the thumbnail as well as the title of the video, that is correct guys, we are unboxing the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Wolf Grey, better known as Baron. Now, I'm not gonna cap, guys. This sneaker has not been on my radar for any length of time. It actually recently just popped up. It kind of became a must cop for me, but I did not pick this up on release day because I was really trying not to pick up too many kicks this month. It was really quiet at the end of June, early July period. And I ain't gonna cap. I was feeling good not having to pay for too many sneakers. Gave me a little bit of time to recoup funds and prepare for some of the upcoming drops that I'm really looking forward to. However, temptation got to your boy. I could not take it. Really, really dig this shoe a lot wanted it and I caved so I copped this sneaker and now I have it to present to you guys for the unboxing and review so I greatly appreciate you guys tuning in and rocking with your boy now hey as we know the Air Jordan 1 it's been playing in the league for quite some time now guys and they have been producing tons and tons of pairs tons of different colorways this colorway resembles the team that Michael Jordan played for when he retired from basketball the first time and decided to take his talents to baseball this was after the passing of his father now his baseball career was short-lived but it seems to have a significant staple in the sneaker community when it comes to these gray black and white colorways which is one of my favorite colorways of all time ever i think it's my favorite hands down you give me gray black and white and i'm sold 1000 percent have a comment below let me know if you guys went after this sneaker or not this sneaker released this past saturday june 20th and pretty much every authorized sneaker retailer so it is plentiful but i did notice the sneaker did kind of move a little bit and when i say that i mean sales were occurring online you can see sizes disappear appearing on certain sites so hey i'm not gonna cap guys this one may not stick around for long it does have that barons colorway and people are really accustomed to that as again it holds a staple in the sneaker community so i suggest if you want this one you may go out and cop it while you have the chance maybe check some of the resale sites as i believe it is below retail on some of the sites however people are interested in this one and i'm sure as soon as they can get it on sale since it retails at 140 people are going to really get their hands on it however guys if you're new to the channel or if you're not make sure you smash that like subscribe and share button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos now without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it all right guys as you can see here we get an all black box i actually love this box with white nike branding very clean nice presentation and on top of the lid we get more black with white nike branding as well as you can see mine has a bit of a discrepancy there something with the print going on then i got a big crease right there on the top corner not happy about that minor dings here on the bottom and i really like my boxes i cherish my boxes now i know we don't wear the box but still it is a part of the sneaker it's the sneakers house however on one side of the box we get our size sticker and the size sticker reads air jordan one retro low og the colorway is white black wolf gray this is a men's u.s size 10 personal size for me in the air jordan and the suggested retail price is 140 us dollars now for 140 dollars not bad at all for an air jordan one low that's right around the air jordan one mid range at brand new maybe a little more but if you can get a discount use some rewards things like that you can bump it down pretty significantly and and it makes it really affordable in my opinion which is another reason why i think people will pick this one up eventually now i do want to read the sneaker story real quick on this and just give you guys a little bit of insight on what this colorway is basically representing and it reads celebrate the 30th anniversary of mj's baseball journey in this wolf gray edition of the aj1 low it combines smooth leather with black accents as a nod to his birmingham team colors premium materials and a classic palette makes this shoe as versatile as mj's athleticism in both baseball and basketball so there you have it even nike is saying this is a nod to the birmingham barons can't go wrong with a barons colorway in my opinion and for a little more brief information on the birmingham barons the team which plays in the southern league is a double a affiliate of the chicago white Sox and plays at regions field in downtown birmingham the barons were previously located in montgomery alabama and known as the montgomery rebels had no idea but hey man that's where 45 came from for michael jordan and then when he returned back into basketball he still wore 45 
job because they retired the 23 jersey for the Chicago Bulls. And so when you see the Space Jams and things like that, that was this whole era from him transitioning from baseball back into basketball, just for you guys who didn't know. However, let's see what we have under the lid. All right, flipping the lid up on this one, as you can see, we just get cardboard underneath, nothing special. We do have our Nike swoosh there with our lot number. And let me get my receipt out of the way. Flipping the tissue paper up, we get a single layer of white tissue paper. And let's go ahead and get the shoe out. And there we have it, guys, the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Wolf Gray, better known as Barron's, a very, very clean sneaker in my opinion. So glad to have this one in the collection. Now, just looking at this sneaker in hand, it's very simple, solid, clean, not much to go over here, but it's a nice summer shoe. I feel like this could even lead into the fall to be honest because of the gray on it just giving me those wolf gray american wolf kind of vibes if you feel what i'm saying however let's go ahead and go over the shoe here in depth starting with our outsole as you can see we get wolf gray on our outsole in rubber white here on our midsole in rubber as well which is pretty standard to the air jordan one moving on up to the upper we get some gray leather here going around our toe cap as well as this piece going up to the eye stay as well as our eye stay and on our heel now this leather is kind of a mid-grade leather it's not that super duper nice tumbled kind of buttery leather I would say but it isn't bad either it's not that mid sort of leather per se however here on the white panel it is a little bit more like that mid leather maybe just a little bit of a better grain but I do wish this leather was just slightly more buttery but it's not terrible but we do get a black Nike swoosh here as well as we get more black on our heel which will go over shortly however guys with the black against the white and the gray just a very nice contrast again not much to go over here on the lateral side moving Along. Taking a look at the medial side, we get a similar look as we got on the lateral side. Moving along. Taking a look at the shoe from the top down, again here this white on our midsole. Wolf gray going around our toe cap. White leather going up the toe box. I would say this leather is very similar to the leather we get here on our side panel. We get black flat standard laces in place. A white tongue and up to the top of the tongue we get that Nike Air in wolf gray on that white tag. Very, very clean in my opinion. This could have easily been black. I think that still would have been a nice contrast, but I'm okay with the wolf gray on this one. It just gives it a clean, subtle look in my opinion however speaking of laces in the other shoe we do get this box of laces white laces that is very very clean and you may be able to kind of imagine how it would look with white laces instead of black but me personally i'm going with the way they lace them up the black is hit super clean super contrast nice barren vibes However, that pretty much wraps it up from the top down, moving along. Taking a look at the rear of the sneakers, you can see we have that wolf gray on our outsole, white midsole, wolf gray leather going up the back, and we get black leather here on our back tab on the Achilles area. We also get a wolf gray Air Jordan wing logo embossed there. Very, very nice. You can actually feel that embossed texture. Clean, in my opinion. Just a dope look from the rear, but that pretty much wraps it up, moving along. Onto the interior of the shoe, as you can see, we do get this silky light sock liner here in wolf gray. Very nice. We get a black insole with wolf gray nike air branding very nice we also get our size sticker as well as we get tissue paper stuffed inside we have that jargon on the back of our tongue and that light wolf gray color as well and we also get our size tag on the side wall however that pretty much wraps it up for the interior moving along i just want to stop for a second guys i looked inside of my box to see if there were any green stickers or anything i kind of forgot to mention that early in the video but i don't see a green sticker and i say that because people look at a lot of unboxing videos to get a better understanding of if their pair is authentic or fake and kind of know how to spot the differences so i had a viewer ask me in the comments in one of my recent videos if i had the green sticker in one of my pairs because he noticed his pair didn't have it and i failed to mention that in the video i don't always look for that stuff guys to be honest but i think i'll try to keep an eye out for it just to help those who want to legit check their shoes as you know sneakers here on the channel are 100 authentic no fakes on the channel whatsoever but i just thought i'd go ahead and point that out i don't see a green sticker in my box on this one. however last but not least guys onto the outsole of the shoe as you can see we get an all over wolf gray outsole very nice camera changing a little bit of colors there as it is picking up the lighting from the shoe but we do get that nike branding there in the center as you can see very clean nice outsole it will get dirty be prepared but i'm digging it a lot that pretty much wraps it up for the outsole moving along all right guys and once again you just saw right here on all about the sneakers the air jordan one low wolf gray better known as barons very very clean sneaker in my opinion again glad to have this one in the collection now let me know what you guys think about this sneaker after seeing it here on the channel are you feeling this one or are you not will you be going after the sneaker if you haven't copped it already or can this one just slide under the radar and you keep it pushing on to something else that you're a little more excited about copying me personally i feel like this sneaker would have sold out maybe two years back just
just like that, but now we're living in a little bit of different time, especially in the sneaker community and in the economy, where people are just being a lot more selective of sneakers. So, hey, it is what it is, but hey, man, this one is a go for your boy. However, again, if you're new to the channel or if you're not, make sure you smash that like, subscribe, and share button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos. Now, I do want to thank you all for tuning in and rocking with your boy. As you know, I rock with you guys. 1000%. However, that is all I have for you guys today on this episode. Until the next episode, keep keeping it all about the sneakers. Once again, it is your boy, All About the Sneakers, signing off. Until the next episode, I will catch you guys later. Salute, I'm out.